The Warren County Career Center provides career technical programs to high school students and adults. Superintendent Joel King says they're seeing a major increase in students interested in attending. This generation of students, they don't want to have the debt. Um, they want to be able to be active in their work environment. He says their current building just can't keep up with the demand. For this school year, they had 800 applicants, but only 534 spots, meaning more than 250 students didn't get into the career program they wanted. The Ohio Facilities Construction Commission has agreed to pay for a portion of the cost to build a new school, and the Career Center wants taxpayers to pay the rest. And we would hope to be able to increase the capacity to between 1,200 and 1,300 students. Um, our existing facilities would be able to be used for adult education. If the combined levy and bond issue passes, it will cost a homeowner about $29 a year per $100,000 in assessed home value. The issue failed in November. King believes people didn't know what the Career Center was or were upset that there weren't exact plans for the building yet. The actual design of the building isn't created yet. Um, wouldn't be uh, fiscally responsible to spend a lot of money on something and not know if you're going to be able to do it. He says the community and their business partners will be involved in the facility's design. If it doesn't pass, he says they'll have to reevaluate. If it doesn't pass, um, we're just going to have to try to think of more ways to involve students. Um, that's my number one goal and the goal of the Board of Education is uh, we want to be able to provide every opportunity to a student possible. The total cost of the project is expected to be nearly $89 million. The state would pay for about 25 percent and the bond would pay for about 75 percent. If voters approve it, taxpayers would pay for that new building for the next 30 years. Adam. Chelsea, thank you. Fairfield voters also have a major school levy on the ballot. If it fails, the district plans to cut busing down to the state minimum and lay off staff. Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.